To provide more security and to offer your cloud storage in a more organized way, you can use Amazon Web Service account with limited permissions. In this video I will show you how to use Amazon Identity and Access Management Service to create an account with limited permissions and start using it in CloudBerry Managed Backup Service. Let's open CloudBerry Explorer Pro. We already have an Amazon Web Service account in it. Now let's create an Identity and Access Management account with limited permissions. Go to the Access Manager. Select here your Amazon Web Service account. Click on New User. Name your new user and also here you can add a path and add the user to a group or several groups. We will skip these options now. Click OK. We created our new user and now we need to add a policy to it. Right click on the name of the user and click on Add Policy. Here we can give a name for a new policy and choose a user or a group for whom this policy will apply. Now let's add several statements. Click on the New Statement button. We can choose here a general action, Allow or Deny. We need Allow now. Click on the Select Action line and choose an Amazon S3 in Select Amazon Web Service drop-down menu. It will allow you to find actions that you need much faster. Select Exclude Selected Actions and mark S3 Delete Bucket. Click OK. Now click on the select resource. In the open window, click on the browse button and specify a bucket that you want to use to keep the backup data. The resource is specified. Click OK. We don't need any conditions for this statement, so we skip this option. Now let's create a statement which allows our new user to work with all folders and subfolders in MBS bucket. Click on the new statement button. As in the previous statement, we choose allow. And now we select Include Selected Actions and select all Amazon S3 actions. In the Select Resource we choose the same bucket, but after the bucket is selected click Edit and add slash asterisk. Click OK. We also don't need any conditions here. And now we add the last statement that we need. Click on the new statement button and in the action select include S3 list all my buckets. In the select resource add asterisk. We don't need any conditions here too. Now the policy for the new user is created and we need to create keys for it. Right click on our new user and click manage access keys. Click on the Create button and you will get your keys which you can copy to clipboard or save to file. Copy it and in My Account tab of Managed Backup Service Control Panel click on Change Credentials and paste here your new keys. Now CloudBerry Managed Backup Service have an access to only one bucket in your Amazon S3 account. And if you choose a bucket for which you have no access, your users will receive an error message when they try to backup their data to cloud storage, but they still can use local backup. And your new users will get an error message when they try to log in in client software. This way you can maintain high security while providing all necessary functionality. You can sign up for CloudBerry Managed Backup Service for free right now at cloudberrylab.com mbs.